Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you the best fruits in Blocks Fruits to farm with. That's right, the absolute best fruits in the game to use to kill bosses, to gain levels, to get accessories, swords, and whatever else. The best farming fruits in Blocks Fruits. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. And when I hit 25,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a big giveaway in Blocks Fruits. So tell me what you want me to give away in the comments below. Let's get straight into it. Let's go straight to the tier list. All right, so we're here at the tier list. We'll be starting off with Barrier. Barrier is absolute garbage. D tier. Do not eat this fruit, it's terrible. If anything, just use it for trading. Next up is Blizzard Fruit. Blizzard Fruit is a solid A tier minimum. It's got a big AOE, you can fly around and hit the enemies and all of that. Plus, it's got a domain type move where it makes a giant field where it just constantly damages people in it and enemies as well. So it's really good for farming like that. Bomb fruit is pretty good. I'll put it in B tier or C tier actually because there's the AOE moves of the bomb and then you can self-destruct and do a lot of damage from that. I'll move this to the end. Next is chop fruit. Chop fruit is pretty good, but I wouldn't say it's that good for farming at all. It's similar to a Logia, but only gives you immunity against sword enemies. It's really cheap, so that's good, but... Aside from that, there's nothing much good with it. Next is Control. I'll put it in B tier. You can really spam the rock levitates and use that a lot because of the short cooldown. But again, it's got a small area that you can do it in. So it's a little restricting in that case. It's just B tier for now. Dark. Dark, I'll also put in B tier because it has a teleport in version 2 and it's also a Logia fruit so well it's Logia so you're immune to a lot of things that's really good for farming next is diamond I'll put diamond in uh, below chop it gives you durability which is pretty good but I don't think it's very handy compared to most other fruits next is dough and I'll just say dough version 2 Doe version 2 is technically the same ability as a Logia, so it's really good in that instance. It does a lot of damage, and it's great for bosses since how many stun abilities it has. So, I'll put it right below Blizzard for farming. Oh, never mind, I'll put it right above Blizzard for farming. Next is Dragon Fruit. Dragon Fruit's not a Logia, so you can get hit with everything, but it does have some pretty good AoE moves. And if you use the Transform, it's really good like that. But all the moves knock things away, so that's a little disadvantage there. I'll put it right above Control. Falcon Fruit, D tier. Flame Fruit, it's a Logia, and it's got a Flight, so B tier. There's not much else to say about it. Gravity? I wish they did something more interesting with the gravity fruit because it could have had so much potential, but it's honestly garbage. So right below chop. Ice is a Logia and you get your own sword when using it. And you can also ice skate and just stand on water so you can't drown, which is a really overpowered ability. I'm going to put it, ooh, this one's a hard one. Uh, right Buffalo Blizzard. Hilo? Trash. Leopard. Leopard is not very good for farming until you have the transformation move. Then it's really good for bosses and ridiculously good for PvP, but regular grinding is not the best. So I'll put it right below control. Next is Light Fruit. Light Fruit, it's got an extremely fast flight. You even have a sword like ice as well. You are a Logia, so you're immune to a lot of attacks, and it's just very good. 
and v version 2 is even better. I reckon, especially for first C, this thing is an S tier. Next is the updated Love Fruit. So if you didn't know, Love Fruit was updated and it's got a whole heap of new moves and you have a flight on a flamingo and stuff like that. On the flight you can use your abilities so you can just fly above the enemies and as long as they don't have any ranged attacks, it's amazing. You can just fly above them and they can't do anything. I'll put it in A tier. Next, Magma, the highest damage in the game for version 2 anyway, and it's got a flight that's pretty fast, and it's just ridiculously good hitboxes. So, it will be going top of S tier for now. Next is Paw. They really need to rework this fruit. It's really mediocre compared to all the other fruits, and it's terrible for farming since you have small hitboxes. I'm putting it ahead of Chop. No, below Chop, actually. Next is Phoenix and Phoenix version 2. Version 1 is mediocre, but version 2 is also mediocre. I will put it right below control. Portal. Portal's really good for mobility, but that's not what we're marking on this tier list. We're marking the grinding capabilities, which is for regular enemies and for bosses and all that sort of stuff. So, if it was mobility, it would be S tier because you could instantly teleport across a map, but it's not, so I'll put it below Diamond. Next is Quake Fruit. It's got some ridiculously big area of effect for the enemies, which is very good, but it's not a logo or anything like that, so I'll put it right below Flame. Next is Revive. The novelty of reviving to about half health, I think, when you die, is pretty good, but not that useful in farming, so I'll just have to put it below chop. Next is rubber. So rubber fruit, or gum fruit, whatever you want to call it, once you unlock the final ability to get into gear second, its attacks get upgraded and it's actually not bad. The first unupgraded attacks aren't the best, but the upgraded ones got some barrages and stuff that do a lot of damage and some teleportation moves so i reckon it will go above phoenix next is rumble rumble version 2 you have three teleports amazing range on the things and stun as well and you're also a logia fruit so because of all of that i'll have to put it below love on a tier next is sand now the sand fruit does have an awakening. No one uses it anymore for some reason, even though it's very good. I reckon it's a Logia and that is pretty amazing, but it's better for PVP than PVE or grinding. So I'll put it below flame. Next is shadow fruit. And the shadow is pretty amazing for grinding. The flight does constant damage and lasts for a long time. The availability does constant damage as well, along with a burst of damage at the start. You can heal for yourself, and you can do some stupidly good combos with it. I'll have to put it above Blizzard. Oh, and I'll move Doe down below Blizzard as well. I changed my mind about that because of these two flights. Next is Smoke Fruit. Smoke Fruit is a Logia, it's extremely cheap, and its flight does damage, similar to these two expensive fruits over here. But since it's so cheap, it's very easy to get your hands on. I reckon it's at the bottom of A tier. Next is Spike. The rework is not bad, but it's not very useful for farming. It's one of the cheapest fruit, I don't see why you'd want to eat it. Next is Spin Fruit, yeah, D tier. Uh, yuck. Next is soul fruit or spirit fruit as it's now called. Spirit fruit is all right. It's not the best. It's not a logia, so you aren't immune to anything. It's got some pretty high damaging moves and some all right stuns, but I don't think it's that good. I'm putting it right above drag. Spring fruit is terrible. All right, D tier. Next, spider. It used to be called spring, but now it's called spider fruit. So the spider fruit 
is not a low gear but can be awakened the awakening does a ton of damage but it's all like small hitboxes so it's not that great for farming especially so i reckon i'll put it right below control next is buddha fruit buddha fruit is amazing because you get a giant area of effect with your clicks and all of the moves in the buddha so you can just use the really large damaging moves of buddha and use the clicks which you can just spam to kill the enemies and you get like 50 percent damage deduction so it's harder for them to kill you as well i reckon that's the best if not one of the best farming fruits in the game and that's why everyone loves it next is venom fruit venom has a giant area of effect for all of its moves now i honestly think especially with the flight and the transformation as well making it do even more damage and have even more range and all of that it's one of the best fruit in the game to farm with i'm putting it in s tier right above light fruit now that i'm looking at my list i'm going to make two modifications and that is moving shadow and blizzard above light fruit right there and light down to a tier now that's my final list if you enjoyed or found this video helpful please like subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when i make a new video thanks for watching and see you all next time